What's up, Aries? How's it going? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. That's me. We're going to read your tarot cards here. This will be a general message for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, please come into this reading with an open heart and open mind. Only take away the messages that resonate, uh, things that motivate, empower, inspire you. That's what I want. Uh, or at least food for thought. I'm okay with that, too. Uh, if it doesn't resonate, if you're not feeling empowered, inspired, all those good things, um, it might not be your message. Or it may resonate for you at a later date. So be okay that it may resonate in the future. That frequently happens. Um, other than that, we're going to hop in. You're accountable and responsible for all your own actions and decisions. Beautiful. Three in a row. Let's do it for Aries. All right. So Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles. You know what's funny? The first message I got from this is you may have some sort of romantic suitor who keeps coming back and you just don't want it. You're just not interested in it. <clears throat> now, there's a couple things I could read into that. Is it because they just can't give you what you want? You know, it, it, it could be someone who's interested in a more um, almost like hopeless romantic, but the the matter of fact is that when you guys are together it's just not emotionally fulfilling or it's it, it's missing some of the key ingredients you're looking for more substance is sort of what i'm getting um yeah it, or it could if, even if you haven't dated or you know been uh, romantically connected to this person it could be someone who's just a suitor and they're interested and you just you want nothing to do with them <clears throat> and you, it might be because you view them as very childish Part of me is saying, if that's if that's the uh, main message for, for the Aries who resonate with that, there's someone who's been pursuing you, but you've never acted on it or went on a date with them, you may reconsider. I, I'm being called to say, don't judge a book by its cover. Now, it's different if you've read the book, all right? So for my other group of Aries where this is someone who it's like maybe you've dated or you've slept with them or whatever, if you kind of get the gist of this person and they keep circling back even though you're like, we probably shouldn't do that again, I think it's because, again, that message, they can't really give you what you want. It, they're, they're just not capable of it at this point in life. You may... And I don't know if this is warranted or not. There's no judgment when I say this, but this person might not make enough money or there might be something about their job where you're just like, you got to get a real job. Like, I don't think it comes from you being overly critical. I think it's they're at a point where they're a full-fledged adult, but they're working like two shifts at like a fast food place. And, you're, and, and I'm not judging that per se, guys. I want you to understand there's no judgment in what I just said. But for you, it's like, because of that, there's repercussions of, well, you have to pay all the bills and you're also in charge of childcare. It's like there's too much responsibility falling on you because this person just wants to have a really easy peasy carefree life. That's sort of what I mean by that. <clears throat> I truly didn't mean to offend anybody with what I said about the job thing too, right? Different strokes for different folks. If that is, you know, someone's working with fast food and their life is thriving and they feel passionate and they feel fulfilled doing it and they're paying their bills, great. Who am I to judge, right? You understand what I mean? It's not enough to make this relationship thrive. Um, and and I, I know this is sort of a, it's a dual message for me because there's others of you where you are judging a book by its cover. Uh, you, haven't, you haven't tasted what's in this cup and you're like, oh, it's not for me. Do you know that? Are you certain? In that case, I would even offer, are you judging a book by its cover because of what you perceive to be the value of what they're offering? Is it a money thing? I'm just going to flat out say it, Aries. Does this person not make enough money and that's why you won't consider them? Or, or do you find what they do to be... I don't know, doesn't, doesn't meet the criteria of what you're willing to accept. I, I want to get a little bit more on this because I'm not sure, I'll be honest, I'm not sure whose team I'm on here. That, those are just kind of some of the messages. This could also be with a, I'm almost getting the idea of like a job if it were a recruiter. It's like a company keeps going back to you, but it could even be something, it's kind of juvenile or childlike, like you're just a startup, like you've only been around for a year or two, so like I can't, I'm not willing to invest much in you because what if you fail? Okay, okay, but why do you think it's coming up in the tarot reading? Is there something else that the universe is wanting you to see about this? Let's find out. Why is, why is Aries blocking this? Let's start there. Why is, and you could always choose to reverse the rules here if you're making offers to someone and they're just saying no. Um, I mean, just to follow my own ethical code, no means no. If you're pursuing something sexual and someone is saying no, you guys know that, right? It's not about, you know, forcing yourself until they give in. That, that seems creepy. 
Um, but I don't think that's really the message here. I just I heard myself say that, and I wanted to validate that. You like the attention, Aries. I said it. You like watching this person try, but ultimately you like being like, ha, 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 no. There's a power player dynamic to this, Aries. I said it. I know some of you are like, me? I am shook. That's what I get. The King of Swords is like, I like to judge you, and I like watch you. Like, you're my entertainment. You're literally the court gesture. I like you approaching me with these fun and games and trying to make me smile and flirting with me. And, like, I like watching you try, but no. <laughs> Aries. Does that make sense to any of you? I don't know. I'm sure I lost some of you with that. You're like, that's not me. Is it though? Is it? Hey, maybe it's not, but you're being asked to consider that message. And again, the other message to this too, like if I'm, I'm trying to keep these general and zoom out, you just, you view this person as childish or they don't have their shit together. That's the other message too. So I really have two here, which is hard because I want to, I want to go with the one that's coming through the hardest or the clearest, but they're both. They both are. Maybe you're dealing with Geminis. <laughs> yeah. This person can't give you everything because they just don't have, they don't have it. They don't have it financially, to be honest. I, I do think this person struggles with money or they're just, um, this might be a Taurus too. This person may have very unhealthy spending habits. Like they love a lot of stuff and they always want to eat out and like Again, there's nothing wrong with that if their lifestyle uh, is is connected to, to their wealth or whatever. How much money they make supports their lifestyle, that's fine. But it doesn't, and I think eventually you end up having to pick up the tab in, in more ways than one. That's sort of what I get from this. I also think, too, that you, if, if at one point in time you did have some feelings for this person, and for some of you, you did, they're not willing for you to be the main source of their affection or attention. You know this person plays the field a little bit, and you don't like that. Yeah, And so I do think that there is like a, you need to get serious. There's like this child and this very serious kind of adult figure or authoritarian, authoritarian or, and I don't hate the King of Swords by any means, but he, he's, he's cold and blunt. That's just what he does, but he's very intelligent. You know, he's very convincing. He makes an excellent judge. Um, he makes an excellent lawyer, right? He's very convincing. Um, and he's away with words. He can be very charming, but it's done with his intellect. It's not done with this, let me show off these, these toys and these games and these silly outfits that I put on for you. You're like, but what else do you have? Like, I always get like, are you even smart? Like, it might be, a, 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 even if this is a friendship, I could see it as that, right? Let's, let's remove romance entirely. This is a friendship where it's like, you guys can hang out for an hour or two, you know, you can talk about Netflix, you can, you can go hiking or whatever, but beyond that, it's like you're looking for something with far more depth, and currently, I think a lot of you are like, it's just not there, and so I can't do this anymore. I can't keep returning to this tapped well, hoping it's going to be rejuvenating and delicious and thirst quenching when there's just nothing there, and I think you guys are having to remind yourself that you've learned this lesson the hard way with this person. And by the hard way, I only mean that I think you, you've you probably given them the benefit of the doubt many times. You've probably chosen to see their good qualities and be like, you know what, you know, they're struggling, they don't have a lot of money, okay, I'll, you know, I'll pay for dinner again. Only, again, like, I think you're, again means you're not realizing that this is a habit, this is a pattern, they're not necessarily making any strides to get better in that area of life where they lack, and so you can't do that for them. Perfect. You can't teach them. You know, the King of Swords, lessons, ideas, um, intelligence, right? He, he wants to share his intelligence. You, you can't hold their hand through it, though. You can only give them an idea of, you know, if they honestly ask, hey, do you think this or that, or what do you think about this or that, you know? You can give them your ideas and opinions, but if they don't take it, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. You can't solve this person's money problems for them. You can't force them to commit to you in a relationship when they, they don't necessarily want monogamy right now. That, that's sort of what I get from this. I think more or less, especially King of Swords, like where do you draw a line in the sand? Where do you protect your own energy? Where do you set healthier boundaries? And I'll be honest, guys, again, this does not have to be romantic. This could be a parent. This could be, you know, your mom or your dad who, you know, they're borrowing money from you because they can't pay rent because, you know, they're spending all their money on, I don't know, alcohol. Or do you understand what I mean? There, there's something where it's like you can't, 
Loving this person doesn't make you responsible for solving all their problems or paying their way through life and out of debt. This person may have gotten in trouble with the law and you may have had to bail them out before. <clears throat> all right, let's, uh, how are we doing for time? Are we doing okay? Yeah, let's get you a butterfly card. Let's see what, what else this has to say for Aries. Try to keep them a little bit short and sweet this week. This girl can talk. This girl can ramble. <laughs> Don't I know it? 40 minutes later, right? <laughs> there you go, for Aries. Religion and spirituality. All right, so this message may or may not be related, but I have faith that this is what some of you need to hear, so let's, let's read it. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> Religion and spirituality. Your spiritual life is shifting because you're getting in touch with your honest beliefs. <clears throat> What worked for you in the past doesn't ring true for you now. This may cause confusion within your family or within yourself if you are leaving a religious tradition. You, uh, your loved ones may worry about your spiritual safety as you venture into areas they don't understand. It's not up to you to win your family's approval of your beliefs and choices. However, if you are following a spiritual teacher, do use discernment before leaping in with full commitment. Make certain that everything is as it appears to be and that you retain your ability to exercise your free will. I just want to show you those cards there. Because maybe, you know, again, reverse the roles. Is this you? Maybe. Most important, be sure that you are happy on, and on a spiritual path that is aligned with your sincere beliefs. Additional meanings to this card. Marital conflict over differences of religious beliefs. Blending a multi-faith family returning to your childhood religious path, converting to a new religion, spiritual study, or teaching. Interesting. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you these cards again. Very, I mean, obviously, yes, a heavy kind of religious connotation to this card. It doesn't have to be, and I mean, maybe this is an entire, uh, at least separate issue that some of you Aries are like, that makes sense to me, you know? It, you know. These don't have to be related, but I do really see this as someone, um, after reading that card, this could very much be connected with jumping in wholeheartedly with someone who's trying to preach to you, to, to, again, share their wisdom or insights, but with the King of Swords, sometimes he lacks flexibility. It's like his way is the only way. So if this is you, make sure you're not getting into some sort of relationship where there's almost this drinking of the Kool-Aid, this, you have to believe this because it's true. Is it though? I mean, this card says be discerning and not necessarily needing to win the approval of anyone and to practice or believe what it, whatever it is that you want to believe as long as it's healthy for you. It might not be healthy or exciting to other people and that's okay. Establishing your individuality and your freedom of thought. Huge with the King of Swords. All right, Aries, that's what I got for you this week. I hope this helps someone out there. Um, please like the video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below if any of this resonates for you, and I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.